Right. Hello, 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 and welcome again to our live stream. And I haven't said this for a long time, but yes, the purpose of having this live stream is to string our entire community around the world because we are now in more than 50 countries and um, to tell people about how we are doing as well as listen from those members who have used our product and found success in the product. And today, to kickstart our live stream, as usual, we have two stories. And the first one is our uh, member uh, all the way from the UK. And happy Mother's Day to Narisa Bailey. Hi, Narisa. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, James. How are you? Uh, I'm great. And um, for our viewers, uh, just to let you know, Narisa is having a little bit of issue with her internet connection and she's just using her cell phone and hotspot and um, hopefully everything will be okay. And um, yes, welcome Narisa and thank you so much. Today is Mother's Day in UK and happy Mother's Day to all our wonderful members in the UK. All right. Now, uh, Narisa, you have a pretty interesting story. When I first saw it on Facebook, I told myself, yes, I got to bring this uh, story to our live stream because what really, uh, you know, touched me was the eczema that uh, that happened to you. And um, as we communicated, I got to know that it's more than just eczema, right? So perhaps you uh, would like to tell us your story or maybe with your permission, maybe I can uh, show our viewers, right? Show our viewers, uh, let me see, what is it uh, that you have that has healed you in terms of your eczema let me just uh just a moment oh yes i got it up here can i show the photo that you sent me absolutely yes please do okay all right so our viewers now can see on november uh 2022 before the treatment wow it looks um a pretty bad uh, nasty one yeah uh behind your ear um and then on january yeah. 2020 after treatment with the frequency device tell us about it I mean, uh, what did you do? Okay, so um, I started with eczema in around about May 2019. I've never had any skin conditions before. And um, as you can see, it got absolutely chronic. I also was getting some ear infections and mm. my GP kept prescribing antibiotics during lockdown, 15 lots of antibiotics, but I know that they're really wow. quite bad. And they were actually, it's like a plaster. You need to, it's all right treating the symptoms, but what is the cause? Mm -hmm. So um, I only took two lots of antibiotics, which made the eczema worse, but they, it, it helped with the inner ear infection. Um, yeah. And I, I basically battled with this till I was introduced to the device in mm -hmm. July uh, 2022. And I immediately decided I was going to buy one. I'm a therapist and I wanted to use it on myself. I wanted to introduce my clients to it as well. So I, I started using it. But I have to say, with the premium, the device I bought, it doesn't have the cold setting. So initially, it irritated the itching at the back of my ear. Mm -hmm. um, and that, but I, So I started it very gently around about July, August. Then I got some itching, went away on holiday, and I really, if I'm honest, I used it at work. I, did, I kind of forgot to use it on my ear. And then in November, I thought, why aren't you using the device? Mm -hmm. So I started using it probably five times a week, twice a day, and always drinking the wanted water and trying to do. And then the results speak for themselves. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And it's there is scarring it. Mm. the back of my right ear as you can see on the january photo but now there's hardly anything yeah well your uh, internet connection isn't exactly that good but we can hear you so fortunately for that um yeah and okay. you also have some hearing issues with your right ear right tell us about your right ear how is it now yes that's with right so um my doctors who i'm not very keen to go to they say it's vestibular migraine then many years then vertigo so i'm basically doing the um, migraine and vertigo protocol um mm. and when i do that it thank goodness at the moment is under control instead of having a couple of flare-ups a week um 
I might, I might get one a month, but I really need to be um, strict with myself and disciplined and keep up with that. But basically, it's the only thing that has got on top of the eczema and the, the headaches. It's just mind blowing. Absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you, you, you basically got your hearing back on your right ear and um, uh, everything else sort of yeah. like, yeah, healed itself, right? Even your migraine is gone. And um, well, it's good to hear that. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah. So um, I guess, you know, uh, any other things that, you know, um, the iTerra care device has helped you generally? Do you feel yourself more energized or in any way? Uh well, um, I sleep like a baby. Um, I'm really, really deep sleep. Um, I feel lighter and brighter. I have a really good diet anyway, but generally it helps my my family as well. My partner's got a skin condition with his leg that he's had for 12 years and mm -hmm. it's improved that. And my daughter's got a knee condition, which is actually a back. So mm -hmm. I wander back and her knee gets better because it's often not the point that shows the swelling it's somewhere else further up in the body yeah so yeah i've revived some plants it's it's just yeah amazing i'm actually doing a, <laughs> I'm a guest speaker at a talk to talk about the device in two weeks at, um uh, an organization so i'm really excited about that oh. sharing the information fantastic i'm so happy that it has worked well for you and your family and yeah do continue to share this wonderful device and thank you so yes, much for, for coming to our live stream for sharing with us and our viewers and uh yeah we managed to get through this with your internet situation sorry. <laughs> the, uh, the story has gone across to the people loud and clear so thank you and have a wonderful mother's day uh together thank with you very much thank you so much and thank you for, for and thank you for inviting me. have a good day bye all right take care all right bye -bye. there you go so we have uh, all the way from UK, some wonderful results, you know, with our iTerra care device on her eczema on her left ear, which is the side and uh, hearing on, you know, on her right ear. So, well, um, that's just simply amazing and wonderful to hear. Now, uh, we have another wonderful uh, guest uh, with us today. And um, this time it's the management. It's our general manager from the Philippines. Can we please welcome Mr. PJ CC? Hi, Mr. PJ. How are you? I'm doing well, Dr. J. Hello, everyone. Uh, magandang yes. gabi sa inyong lahat. And it's a pleasure and a humbling experience to be here tonight. Well, it's it's wonderful um, to have you. I first I met you in the Philippines, then I met you again in Kuala Lumpur recently, and now you are here to tell us about the vision uh, for the Philippines. But before we go into that, maybe uh, it would be good for us to play a video um, of the sort of like a summary of what happened uh, 2022 until early 2023, which included the uh, launching and the new office in the Philippines. So we'll just play the video and then we'll be coming right back to have a good chit chat with our charismatic Mr. PJ all the way from the Philippines. All right, let's play the video. Entering its first anniversary, Bright International continues to lead the world in achieving health, beauty and wealth as its mission. Expanding its global footprint with the concept of innovative healthcare led by advanced technology and with powerful performance, Bright has become an international image. Since its establishment in 2021, Bright International has been a long term industry leader in the terahertz technology category, and the company has successfully expanded the business to more than 50 countries, including the United States, Europe, Africa, Southeast Asia, India, Australia. New Zealand and the Middle East. Now let's take a look at the achievements Prife International has made during a significant era. Prife has created a wide range of health products that users around the world trust. iTerraCare, Ion Shield, Seven Wonder, iTerra Bio, Aero Wave, Thai Rest, Life Meal, and at one point, the products were out of stock and in hot demand worldwide. 
Fife International have received the 18th Moshpa Gold Award 2022. Moshpa Osh Excellence Award 2022 goes to Prive International Sundran Berhad. The Malaysian Tourism Board MFMPA Best Direct Selling Company of the Year 2021 Award. 2023 is the year of education for Prife International. iElite System was established to lead and educate more leaders. And the instructors each carry the mission to educate every Prife member and enable everyone to transform their lives through Prife under the trend of globalization. In the past year, Prife International held BOP investment, training sessions, and meet the CEO events all over the world where the four top Prife directors showcase the R&D and innovation capability of the company to all participants, and continuing to enhance the innovation and accessibility of its healthcare products and services. Year of Education, the iElite Academy is going to launch. This will help a lot of people to become successful in life. This is also a life changing. So network marketing really can change our life. And we can also through network marketing, change other people's lives. You must make more people successful yeah. so you will become more successful. Yeah. Success is not easy, but you can try. It will be going to be easier yeah. for us and together. Yeah. Every event was packed and ignited everyone's feelings. Every attendee showed confidence in Rife International. Taiwan BOP, appointment with CEO. Europe BOP Cambodia BOP Denmark NDO London BOP USA BOP Vietnam BOP Vietnam Hanoi BOP Indonesia Jakarta BOP India BOP Laos BOP Philippines Manila BOP To be successful in the network marketing you need to find the right person, right leader to follow We give them the knowledge, we give them the power we will motivate them and we will teach them how to become successful in MM business through our i elite system Norway Team Leaders Training Meeting Indonesia Team HQ Visit Price Philippines Grand Launching Price opened a branch in Philippines Senior Leaders provide iTerra training to benefit more Philippine members and fasten the speed of freedom, wealth, time and health It is one of the most important markets for the company with a diverse and balanced demographic structure Philippines now is the fastest growing country in Prime International. I would like to thank everyone for being here and officially declare the opening of Prime Philippines. Thank you. Prime Thailand launching event. Prife officially entered the Thailand market and over 1,000 individuals joined us to learn more about the company's system and products. Prife Thailand branch grand launching all members witness this glorious moment together. iTerra Care India first anniversary celebrations. India is an emerging market with a population of 1.4 billion. Prife opened a branch in Laos to provide high-quality products to the local members and improve the public's quality of life. Prife International Poland branch soft launching in March of 2023. iElite System NDO Training Malaysia Market Training. Prife International pursues excellence, focuses on health, and provides exceptional products to improve the public's health and quality of life. We will also showcase the effectiveness of our products to our members. Saya rasa harap apa yang kita tanya pada hari ini itu semua boleh bertindak dengan secara yang yang paling baik. Okay? Brief International established a branch in Sabah and Sarawak. Brief International is bound to bring the most incredible support and assistance to the East Malaysia market. 
We will soon expand to every province and city throughout East Malaysia to meet market demand. Rife International will establish a branch in Johor Bahru in 2023 so that more people will transform their lives after engaging with crime. Rife International, the Royal Gala Dinner Incentive Trip Dubai and Egypt. Members and leaders worldwide gathered to explore the luxury city in Dubai and witness the glorious myth of Egypt. You should be here next time. We will build beautiful memories with each other and strengthen the members' connection. Rife International celebrated the rabbit year in 2023 by organizing a Golden Rabbit Gala at the Malaysia headquarters and sharing prosperity with Rife members. Rife International set up a training room to accommodate hundreds of members. Members can enjoy the magnificent sound system and high-definition screen while learning. Dr. Jimmy Chong, Group Vice President of Rife International, founded the Prive Foundation with a heartfelt commitment to contribute to the less fortunate in society. In conjunction with Mercy Malaysia, Prive Foundation donated RM100,000 for earthquake relief in Turkey and Syria. Prive Foundation also provides charitable donations to orphanages for the needy worldwide. <laughs> one Prive, one team, one family team building an annual dinner. Allow Prive employees to work together enhance teamwork and communication efficiency, and strengthen their commitment, cohesiveness, and efficiency to the company. Prife International is a new channel of wealth freedom. We offer you a chance to seize the world and create your health, beauty, and wealth. Let's step into this train of wealth and share the prosperity fees. 100% Pride International, by end of this year, we are going into 100 countries. As a board of director, we will make sure all your effort that you put into Pride, you will get the reward. Sama-sama kita membesarkan Pride di seluruh dunia. Best future in Pride International. Pride International helps everyone to achieve the prime of lives. With the power of belief, we will make it. Right, so let's bring back our guest, Mr. PJ. And um, before I get you to say something, I have a comment. Um, the first time I, I met you uh, in the Philippines and during the um, uh, launching in the Philippines, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. And why I'm really impressed as I was seated in the, in the VIP and I was like watching and there is this video of, wow, never heard of in the MLM industry, anywhere in the world. You have, um, let me get this right, her Honorable Vice President, Sarah Duterte, giving her welcoming remarks and, you know, uh, to Private International. Wow, that, that's a big wow for me. Um, Please tell us more a little bit about you know your connection you know with a lot of people. I'm sure they are watching, and I know you're a very humble, down to earth, to earth kind of person. But uh, if I may, you know um, this relationship that you have, tell us about it. Well, uh, first of all, uh, Doctor James, uh, thank you for having me, uh, and uh, good uh, evening from Manila. And uh, mm -hmm. magandang gabi sa lahat ng Pilipinong nanonood. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, such, it's such a great honor and pleasure to be here with you, Dr. J. I hope you'll allow me to call you Dr. J. <laughs> you and, can call uh, me James, yes. Dr. James, anything, yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh, well, it's not really, I mean, it was not really about uh, my relationship, you know. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it was more of the vice president being... Uh, always welcome and always excited about uh, foreign investments. And of course, uh, knowing her uh, staff and her position, I'm pretty sure that before that message was given, 
that uh, they did their due diligence and mm. thrive past that. Because uh, I know for a fact that it goes to a screening uh, you know, procedure and uh, everything turned out uh, good and well based on their uh, on her team's uh, assessment of price and uh, and the message was uh, well worth it you know it's uh, it's very seldom it was very it's very seldom that uh, you know a government official much less the uh, vice president of the country gives a yeah. uh, welcome message and asking uh, well and, and asking everybody, you know, and then telling everybody that, uh, you know, that the MLM is a good business as long as you are yeah. the right company. I know, I know. I, mean, right I think company. it took everyone by surprise, including our BODs. <laughs> it took them by surprise. Yeah. You know? So you, you uh, did an amazing honest, job, to actually. Honest, to be honest, James, it took me by surprise too, because I didn't know if that would actually be something that uh, she would uh, honor, you know, the request that I made. I did mm -hmm. not know, so I'm glad she did. And uh, mm -hmm. like I said, it was more of welcoming our mm -hmm. company who yes. opened in the Philippines. And uh, because she is also a, a, the Secretary of Education, and mm -hmm. as you know, being familiar with the uh, Philippines, a mm -hmm. lot of uh, a lot of Filipinos are you know need health and wellness in this time and age, considering how uh, expensive it is to be hospitalized, how expensive it is to get sick. So she's yeah. she's pretty big on that. The uh, vice mm -hmm. president is pretty big on that, especially for children being the secretary yeah. of education as well. So I think oh, wow. that uh, it was a good assurance to the, uh, to the uh, network or the teams out there that mm -hmm. uh, the speculation of us being a fly-by-night company <laughs> or a company that's going to fold up after, you know, after we make so much money. I guess, uh, you know, that is something far flung. We're going to be here to stay. And uh, just like Mr. AC Goh said that uh, we would want to leave a legacy for uh, for the next probably 50, 60 or 100 years. Yes, amazing. Now, um, I, I just want to summarize just uh, three questions that I want to ask you. And I'm sure our viewers would like, you know, um, to know from you. Now, as head of a country with three Sapphire directors, three, I know, and the only three in the world for Pride International. Um, so as a head of a country with three Sapphire directors who are probably advancing to higher ranks and many more three-star managers and Sapphire directors on the way, what are you putting into place? To ensure a smooth expanding growth in the Philippines your strategy <laughs> okay uh that's a very good question and hopefully I can compress that uh into a uh short uh or a brief answer but uh I am re it really makes me very proud you know to to especially when I was in Malaysia when three of uh, the sapphire directors were honored you know uh, and recognized the Quaresmas, the uh Balurans and the uh, Karyagas, you know, um, it it gave me great uh, honor to be able to see them uh, on stage and and to also see all the three star, two stars, one stars, and the uh, uh, the upcoming stars. And I know. a lot of them were Filipinos. You know, actually, yes. James, that uh, that actually scared me a bit. It's quite a huge <laughs> call, you know, being uh, the general manager, but. I just want it to sort be, of adds on the pressure, doesn't it? Yeah, right? yeah. I, I just want to be very clear. You know, the hard work was put in by those leaders. I know. I am <laughs> only the support system. Definitely. I just want. I just make sure that uh, they have a a good home. We have a we have a pretty nice office, as most of them have, have already seen. Yeah. I have to make sure that we have products. You know, I have to make sure that the compensation plan works for them and yeah, yeah. Uh, which most of it is done by HQ anyway and mm -hmm. uh, also to be able to put together certain marketing support systems for them here's one thing I want to share with you if you would allow me James okay? please go ahead um, it's all yours the, all, all these stars you remember the Philippine office only opened on November 16th Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of, you know, it, there was a lot of challenges, of course, 
being that, uh, by the way, if, if people uh, in this uh, uh, live stream do not know, the Philippine office is 90% foreign owned. Mm -hmm. What does it tell everybody? It tells everybody that the BODs of Malaysia, and of course, including the, the key people in HQ, that includes you, Dr. J, are putting their names on this venture. You would see some MLM companies, they only have a representative. And so, you know, when something goes wrong, you know, they 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 don't know who to go to. These <laughs> these board of directors put their mark on a piece of paper saying, we're investing in your country, we're investing in the potential of your network, and we are here to stay. So that being the case, it gives me a lot of uh, courage, gives me a lot of mo motivation to be able to make this work. And uh, yeah. for all those uh, star achievers that are continuously growing their network and continuously uh, rising up in the, uh, in the ranks, our role, or my, you know, I would not say my role, because this is always a team effort. It's never the effort of just one person. Sometimes, you know, uh, I, I, I uh, take myself or uh, as, I, as a coach, you know, I have a good staff that, you know, that backs me up. But I am focused on the, on the uh, vision of enhancing learning and education, not only for those who are rising from the ranks. I also want to make sure that the learning, the proficiency, and the uh, and the education of those who are coming in will be enough and sufficient for them to move forward and not just sit on the bleachers and become fans. Yeah. Because a lot of times we see all these people. Wow, mm -hmm. look at them! You know, they just started and now they're they're recognized, but. These are the people who are also trying to build more stars from those who are still, I don't want to call it in the bottom, but those who are starting and are also on fire. So I guess the, the role of the Philippine branch is to make sure we equip them well in as far as learning modules. I know we launched the iElite system, but the learning modules that we are planning to produce are short five minute videos we are going for the product we're going to divide people love watching korean movies so they love they love movies that that feature episodes so we will have product episode one talking about terahertz episode two and these are only five minute videos you know why i think this is effective how did tiktok make it tiktok became a global Thoughts. phenomenon because it, yeah. it was short everything you know? short yeah yes and I want education to be something that people can look back to every time they want to learn. Here's what a lot of people do not understand. We have, some of us have the convenience of having a laptop or a computer in front of us, but mm. almost 90% of people who are actually plugged into technology and the internet use their phones. So we should be able to create modules that will show diagrams show show a uh, uh, powerpoint presentations that are very clear but are on the five you know three to five minute mark so that they are able to learn slow i'm not saying filipinos are slow learners filipinos are just busy and i'm not also saying that the 40 minute one hour and a half trainings or videos that we have out there are not effective i'm not saying that all i'm saying is that we should create or the or, or the Philippine branch will create an avenue where we will do episodes like the compensation plan, six ways to earn. I'll make one episode each. So if anybody wants to know, okay, what was this again? The third world, third way to earn, he can go back to those videos, which he can be, which can be found in our YouTube channel as well. Because in that way, our leaders will have more time to be able to you know set them on fire and be able to guide them using technology instead of them doing the presentation because my desire is that regardless of what type of 
of status you are, if you're, if you're, you're a working class, even all the way for being a doctor, no man should be left behind. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be able to explain terahertz. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be able to explain quartz crystal. You know, everybody should be able to explain scalar energy. Everybody should be able to know how to navigate the back office. <laughs> that's one of the things that I want to do also. How do you register? I have been receiving a lot of questions. The person from Europe, uh, her downline is from Dubai. And the person in Dubai wants to register somebody in the Philippines. So this top up link, you know, it, it, all these things have mm -hmm. to be cut into several modules for mm -hmm. learning so that learning and I don't all, uh, I'm not saying spoon fed, mm -hmm. but learning is done slowly until they become proficient. Like they always say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Yes. You know, once you want want to once you want to shove a whole elephant into somebody, there are only several things that can happen. Number one, this business is not for me because I cannot understand it. Number two, it's too complicated. Number three, there's just so much to remember. So where do they go? They go to their leaders, you know. And of course, the leaders now, as they grow, uh, uh, they grow in rank. They now what happens is they start to spread themselves too thinly, mm -hmm. and there will be people left behind, and people will say, you know, you cannot avoid them saying, you made me invest on this, and then you leave me behind. <laughs> yeah, these are well, the that, I, these I are agree the with you. I will be. These are the things that we will be working on in 2023 yeah. in, in the Philippines. And in fact, I want to even make it into several dialects, but we'll have an English uh, subtitle in the bottom so yeah. that the network here can also share these videos to their network abroad. Yes. You know? Yes. Even the brochures, I want the brochures yes. to be in the basic three dialect uh, uh, printing so mm. that everybody feels at the end of 2023, as we grow here in the Philippines, I would want everyone to say, I can do that business. Yeah, I think um, with the cell phone, as you quite uh, correctly pointed out, 90% are uh, using cell phone and you want them to be able to press the button and push the I mean, if it's too big, the file size, you're not going to be able to do that. So five minutes or less, I think you can compress it and then you'll be able to push in the WhatsApp group. I think it'll be marvelous. So keep it short and simple, right? Okay. Back to basic. Okay, excellent. Now, um, just another uh, interesting uh, question that I would like to ask you. And I've heard it many times, right? From the Philippines to the world. Have you heard of that before? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, in yeah. Video, in the yeah, video I, I, I shared that, a while ago. I hear that in my sleep, James. <laughs> From Philippines to the world. Well, anyway, um, it's also like a boomerang because now many people around the world, Filipinos are everywhere in the world, they want to come back to the Philippines to sponsor. So what is it that you have for them to welcome them to the Philippines? Tell us about it. Okay, that's a, that's a good question. First of all, we have an office an office where we have 70 sitting capacity training room we had a boardroom that's open to everyone and uh in the next uh two months we we are uh, i am enhancing or developing our customer service division where anybody can call and say you know what i want to register somebody there how do i do it we have we have a person that can respond immediately you know and because apparently Philippines to the world is already working. <laughs> yes, for sure. Okay? Philippines Definitely. to the world, I, I, it's not being, uh, it's not bragging or being arrogant about it. Yes. It's working. Now, what we want is to also be able to tell the Filipinos mm -hmm. out there and even the non-Filipinos yes. that you are open to share or open up your network here and the Philippine branch will be there for you. A lot of so that there will be there will be a, some kind of a help desk, a customer yes. service, yes. Uh, just to welcome and and guide the the foreigners, right? Um, to sponsor into the Philippines. Correct, and we will have I will have an addition uh, I will have an additional number 
uh, placed on the uh, directory in our website where they can, they can uh, what's this? They can call anytime for customer service. And, uh, yes. you know, James, let, let, let me speak uh, a little bit about this. You know, you, I don't know if you know, but 65% of the revenue of the Philippines is because of BPOs or call centers. Wow. Also, the call centers of most of the conglomerates and the big companies worldwide have their call centers and help centers and customer service call centers in the Philippines. Why? Because, you know, they realize that number one, we need the job. Yeah. Number two, we speak very, you know, we speak fairly good English, you know, mm -hmm. and they, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. And number three, the cost of living or the wages are not mm -hmm. as expensive as having it in their homeland. So Maybe something to think about. Something correct. to think about. So really. my, my, I, I spoke to the board. You know, you know, if I can just stop you there, you know, but, uh, I just have a guest who came uh, to attend the, the weekend uh, seminar and he works in a call center where they're servicing Malaysian Mercedes-Benz and BMW customers. Correct. So, <laughs> right? so, so, so that's, that's crazy, but I, yeah. I, I spoke to the BODs briefly about this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every time I come up with these wild ideas, they probably think that I'm, some, I'm, I'm on some sort of drug, you know. But <laughs> my, my, my desire, if because that's mm -hmm. possible, because it has, you know, a lot of times when we do a vision, you know, it's like, this guy's crazy. But why, why? I'm not crazy. It's already making 65% or generating 65% revenue. So why reinvent the wheel? What is wrong with putting up a BPO or a call center yes. for Thrive here in the Philippines where anybody around the world can call and say, you know what? I own a device and uh, I want to do the business. Can you please tell me how I can start? So this person can immediately send our episode videos yeah. or if somebody calls, Hey, you know, it, it can't be just one person and you know that person, right? Is so the, the, the team uh, will be able to handle all customer service issues. Exactly. Um, also related to marketing plan, related to every aspect of the uh, network marketing business. Yes. Wow. Because, because that's, my that's powerful. That's very here, powerful. Yeah. yeah. My drive here is technology is already there. Why and not speaking, use it? Speaking the English that the world can understand. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Proven. Correct. Right? Yes. So, yeah. so that is what uh, you know. That is what my vision will be because a lot of times people don't understand the growth. A lot. Of, the growth is mainly because of how people look at leadership. They see sapphires. Yeah. They see three stars, two stars. This is the one that burns them up. I want to be like them. But what we're missing here as a company that we can enhance, I'm not saying we're not yeah. doing it, yeah. we can enhance it by telling them or providing learning for the, them, providing something the, that... The, the support, providing the support, the service, and that will give them more yeah. confidence. And, and not, not only these yeah. modules, James, number mm -hmm. two is that they have to be able to call somebody that makes sense, mm. you know. Instead of calling uh, calling somebody who who invited them to join the business, and this yeah. person who invited them does not know anything about it either. So now it's like the blind leading the blind. Well, I, I guess not only that, but the person who invited them has a vested interest, and Correct. And, and and you know, uh, it's better to get a professional third party, which is a company. Yes. who is going to independently give some yes. kind of good answers, you know? Yes. And totally agree. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, and, then I, I, and, I, and we can call it the, you know, the, instead of calling it customer service or the hotline, we just call them, you know, we, we call it the, 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 the we care. Okay. Well, we care division. I guess we are digressing from the main uh, discussion. Yeah. Those, those things you can discuss with the BOD. Okay. Right? All right. Don't get me too excited, James. You started okay. it. So, you know, I got no. too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got excited. Okay. Well, it's a wonderful thing. And I think definitely we can look into it. Now, uh, the last question would be, where do you see the future? I mean, um, for the newcomer, the newbie, 
who wants to come in? Is it too late for them or is it just the beginning? Uh, is, what's the potential in the Philippines? I mean, where do we go from here if someone wants to come in? I'll tell you right now, if we're only talking about the Philippines, I have been in the corporate world for almost 35 years here and abroad, you know, in the U.S. And I have never seen a company or sales move this fast and grow this fast over a span of three months. It blows me away. And when I ask what, you know, where do we attribute or where do we give credit to this growth? And I always thought it was the networking side. And you will be surprised that it's actually the movement and sales of the product. So where do I see this in the Philippines? We've, we have not even started. In, in, in other words, everybody says, we have you know, scratched the surface, we've just begun and all that. Let, let me just put it this way. I have, uh, if you look at the population, you look at the families that we have, and if our goal is to have one device per family, and I, if I'm not mistaken, we're talking about uh, 40 million families, you know, or yeah, 40, 40 million families, 20 to 40 million families. One device, we haven't even gotten close to that yet. And why do I see the growth to be, you know, exponential or to be phenomenal in the next uh, couple of months is because of the fact that testimonies are coming out like crazy which means being in sales you know i i have been in sales as well for a long time the main the the 50 percent of the battle is how good your product is the other 50 is how you can convince people that their product is good. And ladies and gentlemen, we already won 50% of the battle. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And we're just starting. And, and the, the, the other half in trying to prove how good our product is, it's not even going to be us. It's going to be the testimonies that will, you know, that will come out. So Testi coming, coming to the product. testimonies that you mentioned, so is um, a Tagalog or Visaya live stream coming soon? <laughs> well, uh, this is something I would, we would, I would really uh, like to do. I would want to consult the leaders, you know. Yes. Uh, in, in, my, in my 53 years in this world, I have always believed that you don't, I don't have all the good ideas. <laughs> okay? It's a teamwork. And, it's uh, always... I, we always consult the body. So, for example, yes. we got testimony in Tagalog in Visaya. We even have a live stream. Uh, I would want to talk. Okay, give me, give me testimonies that you think can help the network, can help mm -hmm. people with their credibility in as far as sales is concerned. Yes. Then we will invite these people, and we will slowly, with your yes. format, with your permission, James, if we can, yeah. if you guys can still host it. You know, Absolutely, yeah. we can show it to the world. I have yep. the perfect MC or the perfect host. For that. <laughs> I you know, know you do that. You yeah. know, so so we can work on that yes. slowly. But like I said, one bite at a time. You know, I yep. don't want my favorite saying is uh don't go, you know, don't go chasing too many chickens and coming home with no dinner. You know, <laughs> I, I want to chase one chicken at a time, James. One chicken I at know. a time. I know. And hopefully this all comes together. As the leadership unites, as we open up the Philippine market to to the to other countries, you yes. know they are confident that they come that they can come in and also build their structure and and teams here in the Philippines, and they feel welcome, they feel the support. As long as we are going in that direction, I think the potential is endless. Well, PJ, thank you so much. And um, as much as I can go on talking to you, we are already 45 minutes into this live stream, 15 minutes longer than the usual. And um, I cannot thank you enough for your uh, insight um, about what you're going to do uh, for Philippines and the world from the Philippines. And um, I wish you all the very best and I look forward to seeing you again soon. And um, I look forward to working with you as well. And uh, let's see you. how the we can help. Is all mine, James. Yeah, let's see how we can help humanity, not only in the Philippines, but around the world. Thank you so much, PJ. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. Maraming salamat. Okay. 
All right, so guys, this is a very interesting live stream. As you can see, a lot of ideas coming from Mr. PJ, our GM from the Philippines. Thank you so much for being with us and see you again next week. Medical disclaimers. iTerra Classic and iTerra Pro are not medical devices. The information provided on our website is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you are seeking medical advice, diagnoses, or treatment. Priif International shall not be liable for risks or issues associated with using or acting upon the information on our website. Priif International shall not be liable or responsible for the actions, misrepresentations, or negligence of our members who are independent contractors. Thank you.